Hey you guys, so Joseph and Linwood here with Tailored Style and we have our lovely client Melina. Hello. We're gonna be doing some teamwork on this head today. We have some gorgeous color already, but we're gonna be doing some corrective color to get rid of her banding and all of that, so we're going through quite a process. I'm gonna go ahead and hand over to Joseph to explain to you exactly how we're going to be doing it, and from there we will just jump right in and jump into the voiceovers. Hi everybody, so pretty much what we're dealing with right now is she is about probably a good three months grown out now with her natural color, which is about a sandy brown, probably between a level five or a level six. And right now she has this dark purple band right in this area. We're dealing with also previous color bands that we're dealing with, and so we're gonna go through and try to even all these out. So we're gonna pretty much start about um, on the other band that we're first seeing right here, the dark purple. And then we're gonna let that process, and then we're gonna run it to her roots, and then probably run it through at the ends, trying to even out everything. And then we'll probably go through and do a deep blue shadow root and try to blend it out into this bright electric sky blue. But yeah, so keep watching, keep tuned, and let's get started. So here's the scenario, you guys. We've got three to four months of regrowth on her previous color. We've got a deep violet banding of some permanent color in there, and we also have pre-existing lightener and color on the end. So we've got our work cut out for us. We'll be using the Lanza Cream Decolorizer and 40 Volume Developer in their Healing Hair Color Line, as well as using some Olaplex in there. You gotta love this stuff. It is amazing. So we're gonna go ahead and begin by applying it just to that violet band in the hair, which you can see here I'm gonna speed it up just a little bit and that way uh, we're not spinning forever on this part but you do want to go in and you can see we've got cotton on the hair that is just to keep that product from swelling and going onto the hair we really don't need it to coat we just want to get this band of color keeping in mind we're not applying it to that virgin hair at the scalp area yet because that hair is going to lift significantly faster than the hair anywhere else on the head just because it doesn't have anything else coating the hair and kind of hindering the process. So uh, you can kind of see here, I want you guys to see how small of sections Joseph is taking here. You don't want to take massive sections, the smaller the better so the bleach can get through. All right, you guys, so she's been processing now for about two hours on that mid shaft. I know that sounds excessive, but when you're doing corrective color, the best thing to have is patience. We had quite a bit of banding in here, if it's so your head forward. We had quite a bit of banding in this uh, this region. We still have a little bit of banding of red, if you can see that. We'll possibly get some close-up shots as we're working, so that way you can kind of see where that banding is. Uh, but we needed to wait for it to break through enough for us to be able to go in and lighten up the virgin hair at the scalp area. So um, we're gonna go ahead and get into that. I'll let yes. to take over the color formulations and stuff with that. Okay, so pretty much we've been bleaching her now with the Lanza uh, Cream Decolorizer. We, I used 40 volume with Olaplex, and so pretty much we've just been letting this sit. We did not use any additional heat. Um, we've been doing some things outside or whatever like that in the sunlight, so I guess just the natural heat has been helping her lift it as we've been waiting. Um, number one thing I always want to tell people is don't be afraid to bleach. It's how you bleach and how you do it is that matters more importantly. She still has a lot of uh, elasticity. I can pull and we're not seeing breakage. We're not seeing it just, you know, melting or moving or just kind of peeling apart. She still has a lot of strength in there, and when you don't use uh, additional heat from a dryer or anything like that, you have a lot more control of what you're doing to the hair and if you, how far you can push it, should I say. So now we're going to go back again, and I'm doing the same formula, Lanza Cream Bleach with 40 volume. We're using Olaplex and a little bit of the Triconic Scalpies, so that way she doesn't have any irritation, I guess, along the way. And then we're going to do that. We're going to match the levels, lift it as light as we possibly can get it, and then we're going to pull it through the ends and try to get rid of the rest of those bands like we talked about before. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So keep watching, stay tuned, and don't freak out. It's just bleach. <laughs> okay, so now we are going in just at that scalp area. We are putting lightener in there. And like Joseph said earlier, we are using Scalp Ease by Trionics. I love this stuff, you guys. It is amazing. It allows you to put a higher volume developer at the scalp without worries of irritation and burning at the scalp. And of course, we also have Olaplex coupled into this mixture, which allows us to lift safely without any severe damage, anything like that. We are doing a little bit of overlap just so you guys can kind of see uh, that orange band break up a little bit more. Then we're going to go ahead and work it through on the ends, making sure to kind of stop, rub that hair a bit, separate it if need be, just to ensure that we're getting a nice even coating of the lightener and we don't have any areas that take any darker. So nice even lift, separate that hair, reapply. All right, you guys, so we're still on Melina, and I wanted you guys to kind of see the in-between process, so she would just tilt forward, 
We do still have some banding in here, but we're not overly concerned with that because we're coating with the deep blue and the banding that we have is like a light copper, about a level nine copper. So when we go over with that blue, it'll basically neutralize that out so we won't be seeing that. And then we'll go ahead and retouch up this bottom area. We did pull lightener through the ends to ensure that we could kind of remove as much banding as possible from her previous color jobs. So um, we're gonna go ahead and get in there. You wanna tell them what we're gonna do next? So pretty much we have done an Olaplex treatment. We let it sit on there for 20 minutes. Um, we didn't add her under a dryer or anything like that. We just let it sit naturally. Then after that, we went ahead and um, did a keratin complex vanilla bean deep conditioner treatment. I think that a lot of people forget during these processes with these extreme color makeovers that you have to take care of the hair in between the steps. You cannot skip the processes. It's going to take time. That's why we charge what we charge and we use the best of the best. And that's why the hair still comes out on their head because <laughs> we do what we do. And I hear so many people ask all the time, you know, how do you charge people that much? Why do you charge people that much? This is a process, you know what I mean? Like we're not going to just go through and rush it and not do conditioners and not spend the time. If we're gonna spend seven hours, then an hour of that is gonna be just the conditioning processes because we have to ensure that the hair is healthy, the elasticity is still there, and there's still strength that we can manipulate and know that this hair is not gonna break off two weeks later. And if you'll notice, there is still a good amount of strength in here. I'm pulling very firm on here. So we have no excess stretching. The elasticity has not been compromised. The tensile strength hasn't been compromised. So we wanna make sure that of course we're conditioning every step of the way. That's where Olaplex comes in. That's where deep conditioning comes yes. in. That's where using proper professional products comes in and having a skilled stylist who knows yes. what they're doing. And quite technically we have been bleaching since started. almost four hours that she's been sitting with the first initial bleach that we put on that first band to now with the finished product and her hair is still on her head. So that misconception where 45 minutes is it and that's all that I can get you in one day, that's not true. Now, depending on your case with your client, whether how much they wanna spend or if they wanna do it gradually, yes, doing it gradually oftentimes is a better thing for the stylist and for the client as far as time and money. But it is possible to do those types of transformations in one day if you take the time. But now we're going to blow dry it, look at our levels, and then we're gonna go through and put our colors on there and we'll be back with you guys. Alrighty guys, so now that we have gone ahead and blow dried her out, we are now in the process of basing her scalp. So pretty much when I use any type of uh, semi-permanent stain that we're going to be putting on the hair, especially on their scalp on pre-lightened hair, um, I like to use pretty much relaxer base or anything with that petrolatum or that Vaseline type base because it will not penetrate through that. Um, it allows me to have a crisp line and when I rinse out, um, the line stays right where I need to put it and they don't end up with that stain around their whole hairline or even around their neck, or a lot of times you see it, I'll push the Vaseline even into their scalp a little bit, so that way I don't get that harsh stain around their scalp line when they're done. So after this, we are gonna go ahead and do a shadow root. I went ahead and mixed up what I call my little custom drag colors or whatever. <laughs> we used um, the Pravana uh, Vivids and some of the Joyco Intensities, and we created what I call like a smoky deep blue, and we're gonna put that on her base and we're gonna kind of drag that down into a more of a sky ion um, blue that we're using. Um, for those out there that are looking for a brighter blue that really stays vividly, um, I know it's not professional, but we really love the ion sky blue from Sally's Beauty Supply. Shout out to Sally's. It's really the one of the best blues that I can say I've ever used that will not go anywhere. Now I will recommend if you ever do that on your client, let them know they are never going back to another color. Never. Never, ever, 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 ever in life. Make sure that blue is what they want. They want to be a smurf for the rest of their possible life because after that, you're either going to cut it off or you're going to go back to black, even if it will let you go back to black. So um, so we're going to do that. And then we're going to use uh, the steam dryer. I'm going to let Lynn tell you more about that and why we're going to use that to process our color. Okay, so while we're processing our color, we're going to go ahead and do so with a steamer. The great thing about it is not only will it give us the heat to process, but it's more of a gentle heat. All of the colors that we're using for this portion of it are completely ammonia-free, so we don't have to worry about any damage from that aspect, but it helps to infuse as much moisture as possible in there. So we've already taken care of the protein portion earlier with the Olaplex and with the deep conditioning mask. Now we're going back and we're restoring that moisture balance and getting it as high as possible. This is how you're able to do these different wild colors, make sure that it feels good it looks good and it has impeccable shine at the same time. So yes. we want to make sure every step of the way, like we said earlier, we're still conditioning and still keeping the integrity of the hair in mind. Yes, most definitely. So stay tuned. So here we are going in and just applying the blue down at the scalp. This is a deep blue. It's a mixture of Pravana's dark blue 
and the Joico blue. And in here, we're going in on the mid shaft and ends. We're just going to fuse that together with the Ion Sky Blue, which is fantastic. And we're gonna let that process for about 30 to 40 minutes. Afterwards, we uh, shampooed and blow dried the hair out, and now I am going in. We've already done a standard cut, but I'm giving her a good degree of texture because Melina likes her hair a little bit on the choppy side. Um, she really loves that texture and that fun playfulness that it gives her to have that hair notched out. So that's what I'm doing here. It allows that hair to flow a little bit differently and it just keeps you from having super heavy ends. This is basically the difference here between Victoria Beckham and Kate Plus 8. Need I say more? I shall not. Okay, so we're just going to continue with the cutting process and then we will move right along into the styling. You can see here with the styling, Joseph and I decided to tag team Melina's hair. So I am working with a keratin straightening iron in the front and Joseph is working with a Marcel iron in the back and he's creating some uh, loose tousled waves in the back. I'm giving her a little bit more of a sleek soft wave in there and here you can see the finished look which is a fusion of the two and uh, we really love it. Just so you know, there's no shine product on this hair at all. All. all right you guys so this is the finished look let us know what you think as always in the comment box down below i absolutely love the way that this color turned out i think it's fantastic and this hair still feels amazing so it's lovely it's movable shake that hair for me yeah yes. <laughs> what you gotta say it's all about healthy hair the, the process is worth it and I think when you put in the work and you put in the effort and you do the steps, you always will come out with a success that your client will love and you'll be pleased with. And ultimately, they still have hair on their head. So <laughs> there we go. She has her tailored style. Remember, you guys, great hair is not just styled. It's tailored. We'll see you next time. If you like it, let us know in the comment box down below. And please subscribe.